Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you if you have problems with launching on Steam, make sure you try all the methods I'm about to show you in this video. So please try all of them because there's a chance one of the methods will work or some methods combined with each other will give you the right results. So make sure you try all the methods. Now, obviously, I can't guarantee you guys. I'm just creating this tutorial because there's I know there's a potential that, that I know for some of you will work. So that's why I'm creating these tutorials. I love creating tutorials. So make sure you leave your results in the comment section and also subscribe for more. I really appreciate it. And now I know your time is valuable. So let's jump right into the video so the first thing i always recommend people even if you have the best computer in the world is to go to adjust the appearance and performance of windows and make sure you set here instead of for best appearance make sure you set best performance and here in custom click now you select custom and only check show timelines instead of icons and smooth edges of screen of fonts click on apply and ok and also go to windows plus i and here go to accessibility usual effects and make sure you have this turn off it should be turned off and all uh, as well as go to personalization colors and make sure your transparency is off it looks better with transparency but i know for sure it just consumes a lot of process power when you have transparency on also go to performance again and here we have to do something important go to advanced changes and here make sure you multiply this uh, one zero two four by multiply by 60 if you have 60 rams if you have more memory if you have 32 and if you have four or eight write that and just write the results here okay write the results here make sure it's multiplied uh, by your memory and the number is one um, is one zero two four all right now click on set click on apply and okay click on okay and now apply and okay and now the next method is very important and you might say that it is not but it is windows updates usually is good especially if you just bought a computer now i know happens to me happens that you install an update but it's not good and it gives you a lot of uh, bugs it's very common but no i'm just saying that if you have the if you just bought a computer anyways now just advanced options go to re optional updates and this is something super important that i haven't known about this it's that you can go here and install the latest updates that you need for your system this the driver will include memory maybe something related to a graphics card to your audio so make sure you check all of them and click on download and install make sure you're doing that and now let's jump to the next method now here guys what you have to do is to head over to this command prompt but make sure you run command prompt as an administrator that's super important and here you have to write first this command so make sure you write this command first and then the second one and then the other one is this one which will take more time this will begin system scan so make sure this uh this process you wait for this process to complete and once you uh it's finished make sure now you move to the next method and now what you have to do here is to press windows uh, logo plus r and here write ms config and now we go to boot advanced options and make sure you enable this and select the number of processors the maximum numbers of processors you have click on apply and ok you can also go to open task manager here you go to details locate the game gta 5 so we can fix gta 5 not working and launching problems so set on high priority this will ensure that windows will use the will uh, prioritize your game instead of any other apps that are running in the background and now um, the next method what you have to do is to here make sure you install GeForce experience from here this will help you to install the latest updates on your computer if you don't have the latest updates I'm telling 100% this i can assure you that is you don't have the latest updates there's a high chance that's why it's not working excuse me <coughs> check click on check for updates and if there's an available driver 
make sure you click on install and download okay so click on settings and here make sure you uh, turn off in-game overlay for some users and I know some people uh, some people are saying and especially also for me if I have this turn off the game will just crash not every single time just sometimes but anyway just turn it off and for MD user install this I'll leave also the links in the description I'll leave all the links in the description of this video so don't worry and for Intel obviously install this to for and also this is for everyone just in t install direct X uh, direct direct X and user runtime web installer this is what you need to run any game so make sure you click on download and install this and also install Microsoft Visual C++ click on the 68 64 click install this as well now uh, what you have also to do make sure ensure that you have game mode on game mode turn on like in Windows if you have Windows 10 make sure you turn off game mode and also go to graphics and here go to GTA 5 locate GTA 5 click on options and here make sure you select high performance if you can't find here GTA 5 make sure you go to browse and add the game here and also go to power options and edit power options and here at change advanced power options and here select maximum processor state make sure you set to 100 percent all right i really hope guys now you can enjoy the game this is the end of this video and on the end of this tutorial now i hope now you can have fun and play the games with your friends and i hope you're gonna have a fantastic day take care